front tire on that marker. I chose to ride from the northwest corner down to the southeast corner. I don't know why. <laughs> I knew what I was getting into, but I might have underestimated it just a little bit. <laughs> I just happened to be sitting right out in the middle of a big sprinkler field. <laughs> I'm grinding out a solid five miles an hour today. Uh, ooh, good morning. <laughs> good chilly morning. Uh, won't be a few minutes. The sun will be coming up over that edge of that pit. Tent's kind of covered with condensation this morning. This is the first morning I've had uh, condensation. And uh, so I'm waiting for that sun to come up a little bit. Kind of dry the tent off a little bit. I've only got uh, 30 miles today. I'm very thankful to have found that gravel pit when I did because I was pretty well done for the day. But look at this back here. Hey, this would have been a nice spot to camp to. You never know what you're going to find out here. Let's take a quick look. Looks like somebody was storing cotton seed in there. Pretty rotten looking though, isn't it? the old insulators old cloth wiring now here's one of the biggest letdowns of my trip by two weeks I missed out on old sore head trade days <laughs> talk about getting up close and personal wow I've never been that close to one of these wind turbines. And I better get my butt out of here before I get caught. I probably ain't supposed to be in here. Although there's no tr uh, no no trespassing signs or gates. So. Almost to Stanton now. I look ahead. I can see Interstate 40. that runs east to west through the state of Texas. So I should be getting pretty close to my motel right now. Brandon got me for tonight. How you doing? Oh, well. <laughs> That's a beer. <laughs> Already recorded? <laughs> this, is, this is Brandon. <laughs> What's up? What are we going to do for supper? I figure we go to the big tree and hit some Mexican food. Oh, man, what are you talking about? <laughs> you, want, you want Mexican food? Mexican food. Let's do it. What's up, Joe? How y'all doing? doing? I'm trying to video this bad guy here. Make sure he stays straight. This is Tony. Marty and Will. Marty? Nice to meet you. Will? Nice to meet y'all. Well, he gonna take me to go get some Mexican food. That's my weakness. Yeah. <laughs> right. Which one are you going to? Uh, probably just go to that Casa Blanca or whatever. It's right off the highway. Uh, you tried it? No, but uh, I've seen it. It's like it says, one of them says been established since 1950 something. Well, it's gotta be good if it's still here that long. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> All right, it's uh, it's in the mid 40s this morning, nice and crisp. I really had no idea Brandon was staying in Stanton, Texas. Uh, he does oil field work, so he's always out in this area from here all the way to New Mexico. But the last I heard, he was in uh, Big Springs, which is farther east. So when Michelle called me and told me he was here in Stanton, had a room waiting for me, how you gonna pass that up? That was great. I got to uh, spend some time with him last night and really enjoyed myself. I must have got a little bit soft last night standing in that cushy, cushy motel room. It's in the mid 40s this morning. And darn if it ain't pretty chilly. <laughs> anyway. Try to keep my bottom lip covered up a little bit too. Man, after 370 miles of panhandle and winds, the skin on my bottom lip's just falling off into slabs. <laughs> I told Michelle I could grade cheese with it. 
There's just kind of a neat kind of a contrast about how wind has been used. Old era motor windmill, no telling how old it is, to the wind turbines in the background. From 18 wheeler, looks like they lost a battery box or something off the truck. This right there off the course of the road. Maybe it was a fender because it looked like tires was rubbing on it. Anyway, doesn't matter. It's off the road. Now, let me get back to my booty brakes. <laughs> Historical marker coming up on the right. Got to have something to do with that old structure straight ahead. Hey, this is a pretty interesting old limestone structure. I, whatever it is, they got it fenced off. Looks like it might have been an old courthouse or motel. Who knows? It's pretty old, though, isn't it? Very old. Uh, it's too bad they got it fenced off. I'd love to look around in there. That's cool. I bet that was an old courthouse. Well, I'm about 70 miles into today's ride. You can see the shadows are starting to get a little long. I'm getting... I'm within about two miles of Big Lake, Texas. And they have a county park with camping there. Trying to make up a little time because tomorrow we're supposed to be back to 18, 20 mile an hour winds. And God knows what the gusts are supposed to be. So the old saying, make hay while the sun shines. almost packed up and ready to go and uh, all I gotta do this morning is find me another convenience store and get loaded up with water because no free water <laughs> forget that anyway it's a little lighter outside maybe you can get a better look at where I stayed last night a little gazebo here and uh, I literally just slept right there on that bench and uh, I figured if somebody Chase me off, they just have to chase me off. Wow, y'all, today has been absolute madness. My worst mileage day yet. It wasn't for lack of trying. Uh, my fat bike has got extremely low gears on it. I spent the whole day in first and second gear grinding. Today, I rode 21 miles. <laughs> Just a little over 21. I got to where I was stopping every half a mile every half a mile turned into every quarter mile by about 4.30. Uh, I was toast again. Not the golden buttery toast, but the burnt crispy crappy toast. And uh, I was really, really looking for a place to stealth camp. Highway 137 coming south out of Big Lake where I stayed last night in that gazebo it's completely fenced on both sides. I mean, there's nothing. 
Do you see where the highway passes through here where they just cut through this top of this little ridge right here? Anyway, when I got into that curve right down there, I saw a little gravel road coming back up around this tree line. And what that was, was the old highway. Uh, so I found a perfect stealth camping spot. I rode up that thing, <laughs> almost pushed. <laughs> hey, don't think I didn't push today. I did, I pushed some. Uh, but anyway, there's the old road bed right on the other side of those old cedar trees. So I got this nice little old spot right here, set up my stealth camp, and uh, I kind of beat up at myself over nothing but 21 miles, but it wasn't because I didn't try. It was grinding the whole way. But I was glad to find this spot because there's nothing out here. Like I said, everything is fenced all the way down. I'm good for the night, so we'll see y'all tomorrow. I want to thank everybody that's been following me on this journey. It's been a heck of an adventure so far. And I've always said, if you look up adventure in the dictionary, the word fun is not in it. <laughs>